Hello everyone and a very good afternoon to all of you and welcome to Baidu's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. Uh, so as we all know, we are running this series at 1 p.m. Uh, the general awareness for uh, my cat exam. And this is the part four. We have done the previous classes as well. Uh, now, some of you might be asking, sir, I want to know more. Uh, I mean, I want to watch more classes of current affairs. So go to our YouTube channel. This is our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. Go to the playlist. Is per click karna playlist par. So ye wala ek uski niche jana. So you will get this one. Thik hai? Ye wala. Is me niche likha na view full playlist. So click on view full playlist. Thik hai? And here you will get all the videos. Many of the videos. Thik hai? They got 28 videos likha na. So almost 28 videos are there. So if you want to watch it, watch all those. टू एक्स स्पीड पर देख लो या वन पॉइंट फाइव एक्स स्पीड पर जाके देख लो ठीक है सो गो एंड वॉच इट बिकॉज दिस विल गिव यू अम्प्रीहेंसिव रिविजन स्पेशली जो रिसेंट वंस का है जो रिसेंट पांच छह महीना का तीन चार महीना का वो वाला देख लेना बिकॉज दैट वुड बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू ठीक है सो गो एंड वॉच दैट दिस विल बी वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ना ये अब हम रिसेंट दैन दिसंबर और जनवरी का भी कवर करा ले ले हो सकता है क्वेश्चन आ जाए Who has been recently appointed as the brand ambassador of Techno smartphone? In fact, ये तो मैंने कल भी discuss किया था. Your options are Aliya Bhatt, Deepika Padukone, Ranbir Kapoor, Virat Kohli. What is the right answer? Brand ambassador of Techno smartphone. So the right answer is option B. Deepika Padukone is the right answer. है ना? Techno smartphone is a Chinese mobile company. है ना? And see के brand ambassador बनी. Okay, yes. So the right answer is B is the right answer. Now let's move on to the next one. The question number two. As per India Skills Report 2024, which state is the most preferred state to work? Karnataka, Telangana, Kerala, Gujarat. What is the right answer to this question? Okay. India Skills Report 2024 के हिसाब से कौन सा state most preferred state है work करने के लिए? Karnataka, Telangana, Kerala and Gujarat. What is the right answer? ओके सो द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी केरला स्टेट ऑफ केरला है ना देखो ये रिपोर्ट आई थी केरला मोस्ट प्रेफर्ड स्टेट टू वर्क कोची टॉप चॉइस अमंग सिटीज फॉर फीमेल जॉब एस्पिरेंट्स है ना तो कोची जिसको अर्लियर इट वाज कॉल्ड एज कोचिन एज वेल है ना दोनों सेम चीज है दिस इज अ सिटी इन केरला ओके टॉप चॉइस अमंग स्टेट्स फॉर एम्प्लॉयमेंट सिक्योरिंग सेकंड पोजीशन एंड ऑल है ना सो ये सब पढ़ लेना केरला मोस्ट प्रेफर्ड स्टेट टू वर्क इन ऑल so c is the right answer okay uh, let's move on to the next one the next is question number 3 which indian recently uh, successfully climbed, climbed antarctica's highest peak mount vinson your options are arunima sinha love raj singh dharma shaktu sheikh hasan khan anshu jam sempa what is the right answer to this question antarctica ke jo highest peak hai mount vinson ne uh, isko iske top par reach kiye and this person is actually from india and that is why of course it becomes important uh, antarctica is uh, i mean very very much cold i hope you are aware of this na so because uh, you will find cryosphere or you will find the actually the entire continent covered with nothing but snow hai na so what is the right answer anyone so the right answer is actually option c sheikh hasan khan is the right answer to this question and he is a government employee from kerala theek hai so c is the right answer I ये speak Mount Vincent ठीक है so C is the right answer to this question and so आप देख सकते हो this is the photo Kerala Sheikh Hasan Khan now skates Mount Vincent in Antarctica देखो Vincent twenty three लिखा ना और he is having an Indian flag in his hand ठीक है okay कहाँ पर है मैं दिखा देता हूँ first of all let me show here is India ठीक है अगर आप अब यहाँ देखोगे this is South America है ना South America से नीचे जाना है तो ये South America का नीचे वाला पोर्शन है द सदर्न पोर्शन ऑफ साउथ अमेरिका देखो अर्जेंटीना वगैरह लिखा ना अब ये जो है ना दिस इज एक्चुअली अंटार्कटिका ठीक है अब इसमें जो ये ऐसे निकला हुआ है इसके नीचे जाना थोड़ा है ना यहाँ पे ये हेर इज माउंट वेंसन ठीक है सो दिस इज द हाइएस्ट पीक ऑफ अंटार्कटिका ठीक है दिस यू शुड बी नोइंग इट और ये वाला जो है ये वही है साउथ अमेरिका का नीचे का पोर्शन है ठीक है ओके okay. uh, ये वाला जो एक स्ट्रेट है इस स्ट्रेट को जो कहते हैं इसको कहते हैं मैगलैन स्ट्रेट यहां पर फॉकलैंड आइलैंड है ठीक है फॉकलैंड आइलैंड इट्स एक्चुअली डिस्प्यूटेड आइलैंड बिटवीन अर्जेंटीना एंड यूके ये भी कई बार न्यूज में रहता है और दिस एक्चुअली स्ट्रेट इज कॉल्ड एस मैगलैन स्ट्रेट ठीक है ओके दिस यू शुड बी नोइंग इट और ये वाले रीजन को ड्रेक्स पैसेज कहते हैं ड्रेक्स पैसेज ओके 
the next one is question number four, which says, Who among the following has been appointed as a national icon of uh, the election commission by Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar? Your options are Vicky Kaushal, Ayushman Khurana, Ranveer Singh, Rajkumar Rao. What is the right answer? What is the right answer? National icon of election commission by Chief Election Commissioner of India. So, just say, both are a government agency be now brand ambassador type which is to choose Karthi. Okay. So, like similar to that, you can say brand ambassador guess it to your national icon of election commission of India. So, the right answer is Raj Kumar Rao. So, D is the right answer. Okay. If you know the answer, please answer it. Okay. So, election commission appoints Newton actor. Uh, he is an actor. He acted in the film Newton and uh, Raj Kumar Rao as national icon. And uh, this person is the chief election commissioner of India. Okay. So, you should be knowing it. D is the right answer to this question okay so uh, the next one is who has become the eighth baller in the world to take 500 or more wickets in test cricket nathan leon ravindra jadeja adam zampa ravichandra ashwin what is the right answer in me se kon jo eighth way baller bane hai jinho ne 500 yaar se zyada wicket liya hai test match mein anyone so the right answer is option a nathan leon is the right answer to this question and nathan leon to mathaya borle tharan it took a look at eight ballers of uh, illustrious 500 wicket club and all. Anna. So he is from Australia. So you can see this is the person. Anna. So just have an idea. Anna. Australia may in Kailawa, uh, Shane Vaughan and Glenn McGrath has taken more than 500 wickets. Okay. okay. Uh, the next is who won women's single title in national badminton championship 2023? Asha Sinha, Aditi Parik, and Mool Kharab Tanvi Sharma. What is the right answer? Batayye. National Badminton Championship Women's Single Title kisne jeeta hai? So the right answer is C. Anmol Kharb is the right answer to this question. Okay. And aap dek sakte ho. She is 16 year old. Wins Women's Single Title. Okay. Yes. Let's move on to the next one. The question number 7. Who has who was recently awarded Bhutan's prestigious National Order of Merit Gold Medal? S. Jai Shankar, Mamta Banachi, Jaya Bachchan, Poonam, Khedrapal Singh. What is the right answer to this question? National Order of Merit Gold Medal. Bhutan, uh, Bhutan government ke dwara diya jata hai. Uh, kisko diya gaya hai? Anyone? Right answer is uh, Poonam Khetrapal Singh. Uh, she is a regional director of WHO Southeast Asia. And she is a retired IS officer of Punjab cadre. So D is the right answer to this question. And it was given by the Bhutan's king. Jigme Khesar Namgyal Wangchuk. Okay. So this you should be knowing it. Hana. The right answer is D is the right answer. Uh, the next one. Huh? The next one is recently which airport, Indian airport received recognition at UNESCO's 2023 Pre-Versailles Award. Double L Jautan is silent in French. Mein, okay? And UNESCO is headquartered in Paris, France. Okay. Campe Gora International Airport, Indra Gandhi International, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International, Chennai International Airport. What is the right answer? Kisko Mila about? What is the right answer, anyone? So the right answer is A. Campe Gora International Airport, Ye Bangalore ke Airport ka naam hai. Okay. Ye important hai. Kyaadar kega star market. So A is the right answer to this question. Anna. T2 terminal of Campe Gora International Airport. Anna. One of the world's most beautiful airport wins a special prize at UNESCO's 2023. Anna, you can see Pre Versailles established in 2015. This is the PRIS, but pre pronounced Versailles. Double L is considered as silent in French. Okay. Uh, the next is which institution has set up Central Excise Service and Service Tax Settlement Commission? CAB, CBIC, Enforcement Directorate, none of the above. What is the right answer? Batai anyone? Central Excise Service Tax Settlement Commission. Uh, of course, it should be related to the taxation and also B is the right answer. Central Board of Indirect Tax and Customs, CBIC. Ne. Okay, so B is the right answer. You should be knowing about that. Okay, the next is question number 10. Who has completed 500 wickets in international cricket, becoming only 7th baller from his country, South Africa? Kagiso Rabada, E. L. Dalton, D. E. J. Ironside, N. Gordon. South Africa ke sathwe baller bane jinho ne 500 wicket liya recently. 500 wickets in international cricket. International cricket mein sab aja to ODI, T20, uh, test sab mila ke. 
So the right answer is option A, Kagisora Bada is the right answer to this question. Okay. You can see South African pacer Kagiso Rabada completes 500 international cricket. And the good thing is that he is very young. If you see, he was born on uh, 25th May 1995. So he is hardly uh, 28 or 29 years old. Right? So all formats, any all formats, but the one day international T20 test, he has taken 500 wickets. Okay. Okay, uh, the next is question number 11, which says, who has become the first Indian to join International Table Tennis Federation as a steering committee member? International Table Tennis Federation ke pahle Indian bane, jo ke usme member bane. International Table Tennis Federation mein. Pita Dani Srija Akula. Anand Raman Rachana Garlapati Pranitha. What is the right answer? The right answer is B is the right answer. Srija Akula is, uh, sorry, uh, Vita Dani is the right answer. Please correct it. It's A is the right answer. Anna, she's having a Dani foundation as well. Nico. Okay. Uh, the next is what is the ranking of India and FIFA world rankings? FIFA is football related. Hota hai. So just remember it. It's not detail in one zero two India ki ranking. Okay, uh, the next is uh, PM Modi has announced to observe Veer Bal Divas on the occasion of Prakash Purab of which Guru? Guru Har Krishan, Guru Tegh Bahadur, Guru Gobind Singh, Guru Har Rai. What is the right answer? Har Sal Veer Bal Divas Manaya Jaga 26 December ko. Okay, na? So 26 December is celebrated as Veer Bal Divas. Okay. So in the memory of Guru Gobind Singh. On the occasion of Prakash Purab of Guru Gobind Singh, he was the last Sikh Guru, 10th Sikh Guru. C is the right answer to this question. Okay. Observed as Veer Bal Divasana. To mark the martyrdom of Guru Gobind Singh's son, uh, Sahib uh, Zadas, Baba Zoravar Singh and Baba Fateh Singh Ji. Okay. So just remember these two names. Okay. So the right answer is C. Uh, yes, Veer Bal Divas recalling the supreme sacrifice of Guru Gobind Singh's son. So, it's the news December that you can see. Okay, the next, who has become the first world leader whose personal YouTube channel has reached 2 crore subscriber? 2 crore, yani? 20 million, na, na. 20 million subscriber. Indra Louis, Narendra Modi, Kiran Mazumdar Shah, Dr. Manmohan Singh. This is a very simple question, you can easily answer it, I guess. If you are watching on YouTube or app, you can answer it. I am waiting for your response. Right answer is Narendra Modi. His YouTube channel has touched 20 million subscribers. So B is the right answer. Okay. Okay. Anna, cross 450 crore views. Anna. Uh, the next is who has been appointed as the senior humanitarian coordinator for Gaza. So I hope you are aware the war is happening. Uh, Israel-Palestine conflict. And Gaza is a part of that Palestine. So the senior humanitarian coordinator by United Nations. Which person has been appointed? Anyone? Uh, the right answer is option A, Sigrid Kaag. Uh, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has appointed Sigrid Kaag of Netherlands as the Senior Humanitarian and Reconstruction Coordinator for Gaza. Okay. So just have an idea. He is the right answer to this question. Okay. okay. Uh, so I hope you are aware here is India. This is uh, Israel and uh, this one is actually West Bank. This one is Gaza. And Gaza and West Bank together is called as Palestine. Okay. So this you should be knowing about it. Okay. Uh, the next one is uh, who has been appointed as new ambassador to India by Israel government? Raful Patel, Sheikh Salman, Reuven Azar, Anwar Halim. What is the right answer? Is it like A answer? Okay. Uh, yes, Ross, you were right. Huh? Yes. Uh, is answer is option C. Reuven Azar is the right answer. Yes, C is the right answer. Okay. okay. Israel appo uh, approves appointment of Reuven Azar as new ambassador to India. Uh, yes. Okay. Just before moving on, guys. So we are having an MHCT course. Some people were asking it. So uh, I'll tell you how to get to know about this. So 55 plus live classes, 50 plus recorded videos, 250 plus pre-recorded conceptual async classes, dual mock tests, 3500 plus practice questions are being provided. So go to our app, go there, and continue to pay me out. You can go enroll for this course. And from 19 to 28 January, we are running an all India open mock test for MHCT MBA from 19 to 28th. 
So you should attempt it. Go to our app, go to CAT section, MBA section, and attempt these. And a link is given in the description as well. Okay. And on 24th January at 7 p.m. That is today at 7 p.m. We'll be having a live workshop with Saran Nasir sir. So you can do. You should do join it. That would be beneficial. Or 28th January we will be having a 11 a.m. in the morning. We'll be having a scholarship test. So do attempt this scholarship test. That would be very very beneficial for you. If you qualify it, you will get up to 90% off on our paid courses. Okay. If you have any query, some people were asking, sir, I want to know something about it. So download our app, isme jana, talk to our counselor. Isme call karke aap query puchna, whatever is your query that you want to uh, know more about ki when the classes are starting and all and what are the courses and all available. So isme call karke puch lena. Okay. Uh, the next one is which country hosted annual WEF, World Economic Forum meeting in 2024. Har saal January mein actually hota hai. Every year in January, the World Economic Forum Summit happens. Kaha hota hai? Switzerland, Denmark, Japan, Singapore. Where it happens? So, ek jagah hai Davos. Yes, Switzerland mein. So, A is the right answer to this question. Yeah. Okay, so here is India. This is Europe or yaha pere Davos. Uh, ye Switzerland dekh ro. And this is Davos. Okay. Okay, so it's a land. So the right answer is A is the right answer to this question. Now, uh, World Economic Forum meeting. Uh, Iska theme tha rebuilding trust from 15 to 19 January 2024. Yes, a push thing. So it's a land. Okay, the next is which railway station has been renamed as Ayodhya Dham? Yeh the common sense ka question. Hai. So I hope you are aware Ayodhya railway station ka naam badal kar Ayodhya Dham uh, railway station ka diya gaya. Thik hai? So, uh, uh, just before the uh, uh, inauguration of Ram Temple and all. Okay. So, uh, renamed as Ayodhya Dham. Uh, uh, okay. Yes. Now, the next is, uh, which of the following river passes through the city of Ayodhya? Yes. Since we are talking about Ayodhya, the recently on 22nd January, the uh, inauguration or what we call it as Pran Pratishtha of the Ram Temple has happened. Okay. So, you should be knowing something about it. Uh, what was the old name of the district of Ayodhya? So currently it is Ayodhya district, but earlier it was called as with some other name. Please answer that. Ayodhya is on the bank of which river? The Konsi river ki bank par hai? Can anyone tell me? So uh, the old name of the district of Ayodhya is Faizabad. So earlier the district name was Faizabad. Now it is called as Ayodhya district. And the city is Saryu, Sarju, yes, Saryu. Okay. Sarju bhi likhte, kahin ke pe Saryu bhi likhte. Okay. So the right answer is D is the right answer to this question. Okay. Ganga pe pe to bohut sari jise Kanpur, Allahabad, ya Prayag Raj ho gaya, Banaras ho gaya, Patna ho gaya. You will find Ganga River. Gomti, actually Lucknow is a very famous city on Gomti River. Rapti, actually Gorakhpur is actually a city in Uttar Pradesh where Rapti flows and all. So here the right answer is D. Okay. So ya Prayag Raj ho gaya. This is the state of Uttar Pradesh. No? This is UP. Okay. okay. Yes, so D is the right answer. Okay. Uh, the next is question number 20. Name the person who has been appointed as MD and CEO of Kotak Mahindra Bank. Uday Kotak, CS Rajan Aditya Puri, Arajit Basu. MD and CEO of Kotak Mahindra Bank. In the business news, mein, they ask these questions. Okay. I said, I D answer. Tha. Tanisha was right from app. Yes, very good. Tha. The right answer is uh, B. CS Rajan is a former IS officer and he has been appointed. And, uh, RBA approves appointment of CS Rajan as chairman of Kota Mahind Kotak Mahindra Bank for two years. Okay. Uh, the next is question number 21, which says, What is the capital of Lakshadweep? And Lakshadweep is in which water body? It is an island in which water body? Which water body will you island? Milega? Anyone? They go just say yes, South India ka portion. Yaha par Lakshadweep hai, hai na? So it is actually in Arabian Sea, hai na? So the right answer here is, uh, is Lakshadweep ki capital kya hai? Please answer it. I'm waiting. Kavarati, Port Blair is actually the capital of Andaman and Nicobar Island. ठीक है? ये Andaman and Nicobar Island ka capital hai. ठीक है? 
and capital of Lakshadweep is Kavarati. So D is the right answer to this question. Even Agati Island will Lakshadweep kai paathe, but it's not the capital. The capital is Kavarati. Anna. So ye, these are the islands. And a mini koi bhi ek island hai, Kavarati hai, Agati hai, Amini hai, Chetlad, Petra. These are the famous islands. Okay. And it is actually near to the state of Kerala. Kerala ke state se kari mein, anna. So actually recently PM Modi visited it. Anna, dekho, uh, he has written Agati Island, Bangaram Island, Kavarati. So Kavarati is the capital. Okay. Okay, so he visited it, and so these are the beautiful uh, images of Lakshadweep and all, and and in fact he did snorkeling. Kya thay na isko? Ah, yes, the way I write over. That's called as a snorkeling, and so he did that, and this was in the news. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Uh, renowned personality Vijay Kant passes away recently. Uh, he was a veteran. Veteran means what? Senior. Senior what? Actor, literator, uh, literature. Ah. Uh, Literator, I think, uh, journalist, scientist. What is the right answer? He was actually a veteran senior actor. Okay. So he was a DMDK founder. DMDK is a political party in the state of Tamil Nadu. It's different from DMK. Ek to DMK is kafi famous, hai, but this is DMDK. Okay. So the right answer is A is the right answer. Uh, the next is which of the following city hosted third national conference of chief secretaries? New Delhi, Chandigarh, Noida, Rachi. The chief secretary is actually the senior most IAS officer in that state. Kisi ek state mein jo sabse senior most bureaucrat hote hain, unko hum log chief secretary kehte hain. The national conference of chief secretaries who are where all the chief secretaries of different states were invited. So which of the following city hosted it? The right answer is New Delhi. A is the right answer. Yes, this is the first one. Yes, Ross, you were right. From app, Ross, you are right. Huh? Uh, here also the right answer is uh, actually New Delhi. Mein hua tha. Okay. Uh, na, aap dekh sakte ho. The conference of chief secretaries happened in December. Okay, the next is who among the following is the cabinet secretary of India. Cabinet secretary is the senior most IAS in India. At the India level, Anna. For India, ke sabse senior most bureaucrat hote. And in August, he has got extension of tenure also. So, what is the right answer? Uh, the right answer is yes, Rajiv Gauba. So, he is currently uh, uh, the cabinet secretary of India. Anna. He is the right answer. Okay. Gets one year uh, extension as center relaxes rules and all. Okay. Uh, the next is who became the second highest run scoring Australian batsman in international cricket? Usman Khawaja, David Warner, Steve Smith, Marnas, Labushagne. Australian batsman second highest run marne wale. So first highest kone? Go and find out. From Australia. So second highest kone? Of course David Warner hoga. You must be knowing it. I mean, he's a very famous batsman. One of the most successful batsmen. Hai na? So, uh, David Warner becomes Australia's second highest run scorer, goes past this great. Actually, he has uh, beaten uh, Steve Smith. Hai na? Steve Waugh. Dekho. Sabse, abhi rank 1 jo Ricky Ponting kai, uh, in Australia. 27,000 runs. Through, hai na? Or Steve Waugh ko abhi unhone beat kiya David Warner. Ne. Hai. So, you can see it here. So, second highest is David Warner. Okay. Yes. So, this you should be knowing it. Hai na? So, B is the right answer. Uh, the next is which state received the largest share in the tax devolution accounting for 13,089 crore rupees. Tax devolution what is the If the center gives uh, the share of tax to the states, okay, different states go. That's called as tax devolution. Okay. Which state received the largest share in the tax devolution? Sabse bada largest share kisko mila hai? Uh, the right answer is B. Uttar Pradesh is the right answer to this question. Okay. Largest share. Okay, because uh, of course common sense is because it is having the largest population, almost around 20 crore population. So the largest populous state, so they should be getting more taxes. Anna, tax, uh, they should be getting more funds. Anna. So B is the right answer. Uh, the next is question number 27. Which of the following book is an autobiography of former army general Manoj Naravane? Autobiography is the Atma Katha. Memoir, it is also written. Former Army Chief General Manoj Naravane uh, autobiography will come very soon. Uh, what is the name of that book? This is also important. 
I think he retired one or two years back and that is why uh, it's important. The right answer is Four Stars of Destiny. So A is the right answer. Right? Yeh hai kitab. Um, you can see it here. Janan Manoj Mukund Naravane, Four Stars of Destiny. Four Stars of Destiny, kyun kehte? because army chief jo hote, wo four star rank officer. Hote. So perhaps uh, from here he has taken the name. Four star rank officer. So army chief, navy chief, or air force chief are actually four star rank officer in general. Okay. Uh, hai na? And uh, here actually in this book he talked about Agni Port took all the three forces by surprise. Some news mein tha. Theke. Uh, the next is which of the following parties has uh, been joined by former Indian cricketer Ambati Rayudu. So he's a former cricketer and he has joined which of the following political parties. Anyone? The right answer is A. It's the right answer. YSR Congress is Kaname YSR Congress. Short me out actually now. So, YSR Congress is a political party of the current Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh. And A is the right answer. Okay. He is the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh. And A, Mr. Jagan Mohan Reddy. And A. Okay. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Question number 29. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath inaugurated first intra-district chopper service of the state from Bateshwar in Agra to which place? Govardhan, Lucknow, Kanpur, Ayodhya. Chopper service means what? Helicopter service. Bateshwar is a place in Agra, mein, and it will be connecting Bateshwar to Govardhan in in Mathura. Okay. Agra Mathura inter-district chopper service. Govardhan is a place in Mathura. So, you can say Agra to Mathura helicopter service. Okay. Okay. Helipad is made. Bateshwar is a village in Agra. Okay. So let me show you on the map. Here is New Delhi, here is Ghaziabad, here is Aligarh, here is Mathura, here is Agra. So from Agra to Mathura. Okay. So uh, chopper service or helicopter service has been started. Here is Bareilly, here is Sitapur, here is Lucknow, here is yes, Kanpur. Hai. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. The question number 30 which says, who, was the f who has been appointed as the first woman CISF chief? Central Industrial Security Force. Okay. Uh, this is CISF is uh, actually responsible for protection uh, at airport. Airport, you have seen security. Ya, if you have seen metro, just if you have traveled on Delhi metro or any other metro, these are provided uh, security by CISF. Similarly, airport, par bhi CISF jo hai, security provide security. And there are many other industries that we protect. Karne ke liye. So, like we have CRPF, BSF, very similar to that. There is a, a police agency. Or, uh, Central Armed Police Force called as CISF. Uh, the right answer is D. Nina Singh is the right answer to this question. Okay. So meet Nina Singh, a first woman appointed as the CISF chief. They will know this number. Okay. So you should be knowing it. Uh, she is 1989 batch IPS officer of Rajasthan Kader. Okay. Uh, which manages airport security. Uh, the next is who has been appointed as the new director general of ITBP, Indo Tibetan Border Police. So this is a central armed police force. Uh, mainly you will find it on China border. So India China border mein ITBP aap ko dekhne ko milega. Thik hai, mostly. So who is the director general new? Pankaj Kumar Singh, Balaji Srivastav, Dinesh Maurya, Rahul Rasgotra. What is the right answer? Anyone? So the right answer is Mr. Rahul Rasgotra. He is an IPS officer. 1989 batch Manipur cadre. Thik hai. So D is the right answer to this question. Okay. Anna. Okay. Well, here in this region, mein generally ITBP ki posting hoti, Indo Tibetan Border Police. Okay. Because this is Tibet. So, here in this region, mein, Tibet ki border, mein, uh, generally ITBP, you will find this. So, who has been appointed as new Director General of CRPF, Central Reserve Police Force? This is a lot of You will find it actually in Naxal region. Then I think border areas maybe. Even where there is an Armed Force Special Powers Act, like I think in Jammu and Kashmir and all, you will find this CRPF. So who is the new Director General of Central Reserve Police Force? And these are options. P.B. Misha, Sujit Pandey, Anish Dayal Singh, Kuldeep Singh. What is the right answer? Uh, the right answer is actually option C. Anish Dayal Singh. C is the right answer to this question. Thank you. Okay. And Anish Dayal Singh appointed CRPF chief, Nina Singh to head CISF chief. Right? So, ye Nina Singh is uh, Anish Dayal Singh. Hai. So, you can see it here. Right? 
Now, uh, the next one is which of the following is the oldest paramilitary force in India? Uh, paramilitary force, kalo ya Central Armed Police Force, kalo CRPF, CISF, ITBP, Assam Rifles. What is the right answer? Bataye. Oldest paramilitary force in India. The right answer is Assam Rifles. So D is the right answer. Established in 1835. Okay. Or uh, Recently, it was in the news because there have been some incidents in Manipur and Assam, Assam Rifle is posted there. So, this is the news of Assam Rifles. And can you please tell me that where is the headquarter of Assam Rifles? The paramilitary force. Anna, Guwahati, Despur, Shillong, Agartala. The headquarter of Assam Rifles, you will find it in Shillong. Why? Shillong is actually the capital of Meghalaya. But why you will find here uh, instead of Assam? उसकी वजह यह है कि पहले एक अनडिवाइडेड असम था ठीक है ना और जो मतलब असम प्रोविंस था काफी बड़ा होता था असम इन 1936 है ना बिफोर डिवीजन एंड ऑल ठीक है तो उस टाइम पर असम की जो कैपिटल होती थी वो शिलांग होती थी बट नाउ इट इज नाउ इट इज अ सेपरेट स्टेट नाउ मेघालय इज अ सेपरेट स्टेट हैविंग शिलांग इट्स कैपिटल सो स्टिल असम राइफल्स का हेड क्वार्टर यू विल फाइंड इट इन शिलांग सो सी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है ओके uh, the next is in October, which of the following countries has announced plans to resume visa services for certain categories? Sri Lanka, Japan, France, Canada. Any visa services dobara start kar diya. So, iska matlab shuru mein end kiya hoga, matlab stop kar diya hoga initially. So, which country had initially uh, earlier stopped it? They were actually September mein. There have been some uh, issues, diplomatic issues between India and Canada. Take care. And because of which the Canada stopped the visa services and all. Anna. And but later on, uh, they decided to open the visa services. So, D is the right answer to this question. Anna, Canada is the right answer. Okay. So, I hope you are aware. Anna, uh, India resumes e visa services for Canada. So, India has issued the issue kar diya ki chalo, hai, in November. So, India Canada standoff. Ho gaya tha, na? Na, what led to the problems it raised and all. Okay. So, these things were in the news. Huh, yes, Gaurav, you were right. D is the right answer. Okay, uh, the next is uh, who am yeah, important, eh? very, very important, I would say. Who among the following has been elected as the Speaker of House of Representatives in USA? Dekho, kya hota hai? In India, in, uh, in Parliament, we have two houses. And one is called as Lok Sabha, another is called as Raj Sabha, right? Okay. So, similarly, uh, in USA, uh, the Parliament is called as Congress. Congress, kya hai, maa, US Parliament. Ko. They do not use the word parliament, they use the word congress. Okay. And they have two houses, one is called as House of Representative, another is called as Senate. So Senate is very similar to Raj Sabha, the upper house type, hota hai, or House of Representative, Lok Sabha type, hai, lower house. Hota hai. Hai. So US House of Representative, ke jo speaker hai, unko nikal diya gaya tha. Matab, the speaker of House of Representative was removed. And this had happened for the first time in US history. Ki speaker hi ko hata diya gaya. मतलब ये समझ लो सिमिलर टू स्पीकर ऑफ लोकसभा इंडिया में उस जैसा आप समझ लो ठीक है सो एक्चुअली द राइट आंसर इज माइक जॉनसन ठीक है ना सो बी इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है इनको हटा दिया गया था केविन मैकहार्टी वाज रिमूव्ड है ना एंड द न्यू वन अपॉइंटेड इज माइक जॉनसन सो दोनों याद रखिएगा दिस इज एक्चुअली मोर इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज़ फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ अमेरिका द हाउस ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव स्पीकर वाज रिमूव्ड एंड दैट इज व्हाई इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है सो डी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन Okay, एक चीज और बताइए since we are talking about it, can you please tell me that who is the speaker of Lok Sabha in India? बताइए since we are talking about it. Anyone? कोई बता सकता है? The speaker of Lok Sabha in India is Mr. Om Birla. ठीक है? This you should be knowing it, है ना? Okay, है ना? Republican Mike Johnson elected a new U.S. House Speaker, है ना? Three weeks after his predecessor, McCarthy was uh, unceremoniously voted out for uh, for the first time in U.S. history. You know? For the first time, a Speaker of House of Representatives was removed. So that is why you should remember his name also. Kevin McCarthy was removed and the new one, that is Mike Johnson. Okay? You should be knowing it. You know? So this is all about today's class. Please subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Telegram and download the Baiju's Exam Prep app. Achha, ek, uh, ek is hai. Since you all might be asking it, so I'll tell you about this as well. Uh, ki, uh, if you do not know it, so you go to our YouTube channel. Here is a playlist. Hai, is pe jana. Is ke niche jana. You will get this one. Okay. Okay. General knowledge. Anna. 
का एक पूरा प्लेलिस्ट मिलेगा देर आर ट्वेंटी एट वीडियोज गो एंड वॉच इट ऑन अगर टाइम कम है सो यू कैन वॉच इट ऑन वन पॉइंट फाइव एक्स और टू एक्स स्पीड एंड दैट वुड बी वेरी वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू ठीक है सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट टू डेज क्लास थैंक यू एवरी वन थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग है